Bow, good evening and welcome to Edge Force Time. This again is Geraldine the Stephen Jones in Edge Force. We give praise to God for the celebration of Nigeria's 54th birthday and it has been wonderful celebrating in war. And we are, we are, we are conquering the war. If Ebola is conquered, Boko Haram also will go down because Nigerians have made up their minds to make sure we win the war. Tonight, I'm taking us again to one of the war conference sessions that we just had in September so that you can understand that during the war conference, many things happened. You know, last week, I spoke to us just the introduction you know of the war conference so that we must understand how to handle and go for war understanding the battle but tonight you see you will understand that of a truth so many people are where they are because of the dreams they had and but you understand that there are so many people who have so many wonderful dreams that are not able to get to where they are supposed to go to because they are attackers of dreams and during the war conference you know in one of the all night operations we invaded the kingdom of the attackers of dreams, the, the forces, the truths that have been attacking and fighting people's dreams, so that we can bring them down and dreams are celebrated. So tonight I'm going to take you to the you know to the to the church, you know, this wonderful session of the all night operations attacking the attackers of dreams. So don't go away. You know how to deal with dream attackers, and your dreams will surely be you know, manifested, be fulfilled. You'll get to where you intend to go to in life. Don't go away, we'll take you to the church. <laughs> For the third night of Operation Wahala to the enemy. And I want to quickly announce and declare to you somebody's enemies 
are already in trouble. If your enemies are in trouble, jump out and shout fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fellow combatants, no enemy will go scot free. Enemies of destiny will be de dealt with. Powers fighting your economy must be dealt with. Powers fighting your marriages must be dealt with. Powers fighting your businesses must be dealt with. Those who say you must not celebrate must go down by fire. If you are the one shout fire, yeah, 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 yeah. I want to say that God will surely embarrass your enemies. Everyone born into this world came with something in his or her hands. And but somebody has been struggling to collect it from your hand. Tonight, we are going to address that. For some, they have successfully collected what actually they came with. But they must return it by fire. Amen. The city of Nineveh was to enjoy the ministry of Jonah. But a whale swallowed him for three days. They were waiting. We heard Jonah was coming. Where is Jonah? We heard a deliverer was coming. Where is the deliverer? It was right in the heart of the sea, in the heart of the whale, until a command was released. And there was no option but for Jonah to be released, vomited right at the shore of Nineveh. Whatever you ought to enjoy that is in anybody's belly must come out by fire. What makes a man or a woman to be celebrated, to be honored, to be accepted, to be served and followed is the dream he carries in life. The dream he is pursuing, he is working on, he is actually, you know, working on in such a way that the dream is being fulfilled in his life and people see him as a star. That's what somebody said. You have no dream, you are set for a doom. If you have dreams, you are ready for a boom. No dream, you are ready for doom. Have dreams, ready for a boom, like oil boom. An uncommon you know, explosion that will make people to rush you, just like they are rushing Nigeria because of the oil. The powers of darkness are hating you to the point that Actually, you ought not to exist, but they can't do without you. If they allow you, you will shine to the point that, like as if they are not in this world. The, because of that, they have arranged themselves into gangs and groups, squads and squadrons to make sure you don't have a dream. There are some people, do you know, even in the physical world, they don't dream again. They sleep, wake up. Sleep, wake up. How was the sleep fine? Did you have any dream? Did you have any dream? I don't used to dream. You are moving for a doom. Because you don't have any information about your destiny. An enemy has covered your vision. What you ought to pursue have been covered. And so you are just going like that. But ladies and gentlemen, tonight, this battle must be directed to the attackers and destroyers of dreams. Those, the, uh, no, as I'm talking now, I just had a flash. There's somebody, it's not too long, your dream life stopped. You were dreaming before, but it's not too long. Suddenly, you discover that you're not dreaming again. You're not dreaming again. You were dreaming before. And your dreams, you used to enjoy, and chains of dreams. But now think about somebody that was dreaming chains of dreams. Dream, and when they are narrating their dreams to you, it's like I'm talking. You know, telling a story, they will remember everything. But imagine such a person suddenly, bam, no more revelations. What are they telling the person? 
We don't want you to see what we are doing. We don't want you to see what is coming to you. We block it so that we can take you by surprise. Because one of the principles of war is surprise. And the enemy wants to take you by surprise so that you will not know how to go about life. But listen to me, brothers and sisters, that power that have been fighting your dreams will expire tonight in the name of Jesus. Yes. Say with me, every power yes. fighting my visions and dreams of life. Yes. Your time is up. Expire by fire. Pray that prayer for one minute. Expire. You can't stop me from seeing and dreaming. You can't deny me of excellence in ministry, in life. I command you to expire. Be totally conquered and overthrown by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. General Davis TV, we soon be back. Stay tuned. dreams we're talking about revelations while you sleep in the physical they are aspirations of life you aspire to become a, a doctor so everything you, you you aspire to become you know a music star you aspire to become you know a an international footballer and you are, you are doing everything to become somebody is cutting your aspiration off Somebody is doing one thing or the other to make sure your aspirations, your desires, what you are dreaming to become, never come up. I remember the case of a particular woman. She was dreaming of her child becoming a great international figure, traveling in Europe. That child was just only one month. But she has started dreaming about that child. And she now started sharing a dream like Joseph shared his dream and landed in the pit. She shared a dream with her husband's senior brother and her husband's senior brother attacked that dream. The next month, the child caught some fever and then from fever to a little convulsion, that convulsion graduated to epilepsy. He became an imbecile. And for the next 30 years, that woman lived like as if there was no dream for that child. Whosoever had already attacked your dream, Holy Ghost! So, your revelations, aspirations, both the one you dream in the, you know, while asleep and the one you physically, you know, every day you are thinking this is what I want to become in life and you are pressing forward. There are some people who are in the market selling Gary who should be international businessmen. There are some others who are at the motor park as Agbero. Eh? Motor park. And they say, enter, only one person more, one person more. And then you, you say, okay, this one is already filled. Don't know that all the others are Agberos inside. You are the only, you are the first passenger. As you enter, and then you say, okay, driver, move. Then you hear again, only one space more, only one seat, only one seat. Ah, but you said only one seat now. Wait, wait, only one seat. That person said, you know, they go again. But now listen to this. Something is pushing them to the, to the motor park or to the airport. Something they ought to become. They were not supposed to end at the motor park. But the enemy stopped them there. But you will discover that there was a day, there was a man who for a pretty long time, they were only dropping him, helpers of his life of destiny. We are only dropping him at the gate that was called beautiful. What stopped them to, from carrying him inside? They stopped him. Always dropped him at the gate. But a day came and I thank God this is the day for you. A day came 
when he that created him for to be identified with great men to be a companion of men of honor said enough is enough somebody say enough is enough they were keeping them there but a day came when he that formed them in their mothers in his mother's womb with a package to be identified with great men and big men arranged those big men who are supposed to be his companions his other co colleagues companions were only to drop him at the gate called beautiful they actually got to the real gate they didn't keep him in any other gate it was the gate called beautiful but they wouldn't allow him, they wouldn't take him inside. They dropped him there. But these other guys, they came and they said, you are not destined to be here. We have a gift and by the gift we have, we will assist you to go in right there. Somebody is going in right into prosperity. Somebody will not stop at the airport. You will enter the airplane. Peter, James and John appear. And said, Onanogo, stop at the gate called Beautiful. You are destined to be our colleagues, to enter with us. You are entering with great men in life in the name of Jesus. They, this guy had a dream. Do you know that they entered with this man? He entered with these people and rejoicing with them. In fact, his joy was higher than those other people. Everybody was looking at him. He was jumping and leaping. Not limping. Leaping. Leaping and rejoicing. Say yes, I have arrived. At the thing, say, I go stop for gate. I go die for gate. You won't die as a beggar. You have a dream. There's something that you want to become in life. True or false? You want to become a millionaire, am I right? You want to become a great woman, am I right? You're not answering. If I'm wrong, say you are wrong. You want to become an international figure. Am I right? You don't want to. The first night of our uh, Friday operations, the pastor said they had a program titled Needed, Wanted in the, in the town, in the city, but ended in the village died in the village error is somebody hearing me in fact this man's case was good now because he was just dropped at the gate but this other one they saw what he was going to become in life they entered into the womb and covered his eyes say no go see no go dream no go see anything you must not see you will see you will see money you will enjoy money you will see places. You will go. You will go to places. Even the things you don't like, you don't want to buy, but they are good. You will appreciate those things and say, "Oh, this is wonderful. This is wonderful." They close this man's eyes from the womb, and they didn't only close his eyes in the womb. They were monitoring that he must not see. But a day came, the one that created destiny created him met him somebody is going to meet you tonight his name is Jesus somebody is going to meet you tonight the opener of blind eyes somebody is going to meet you tonight the one that opens the deaf ears somebody is going to make, uh, meet you tonight the one that made Peter a millionaire an international figure who had to travel from place to place amen met him and told him Will that be made whole? And then uh, he, he, he put uh, a saliva on the ground, rubbed his eyes, said, go and wash in the pool of Siloam. And then they go. He went and washed and saw. In Luke chapter 19. See verses 12 and 14. The Bible says, he said, therefore, a certain noble man went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return 
He had a desire in life. He had a vision. He had a dream to become great. Like saying somebody went into the university to become a medical doctor, a lawyer, an engineer. The, the Bible says, look at verse 14. But his citizens hated him and sent a message after him saying, we will not have this man to do what? We will not have this man to reign over us. His citizens, the people he told, his dream, his vision, his plan in life. Every dream attacker. Because I've come to reveal their secret of what they have been doing to us to keep us in one place. They want to distract your attention. Holy Ghost! Rise up on your feet and take this prayer point. Say, any power on assignment tonight to tamper with the destiny of anybody. Why are you still alive? Lose him and let him go. You die by fire. Come and go ahead and pray that prayer. Any power that wants to come and distract your attention, wants to come and be a threat to anybody, to de deny somebody of the best in life, what are you waiting for? Die by fire. Be destroyed by fire. Wow. Welcome right back. That was a wonderful session. And I give praise to God because as many as have listened to this war, uh, this message and were present at the war conference, I know that you will take your stand against those who are after your dreams. And like that man, you will not be you know, sentimental about those who are, would not want you to establish your life. You'll be brutal. You'll, you will handle them with all seriousness because the word of God says the eternal God is your refuge. Underneath are the everlasting arms. He shall thrust out the enemies from before thee and shall say destroy them. If God has said destroy them, not deliver them. If God has said thou shalt not suffer a wish to live because they are after your dreams, do not be sentimental about it. Handle them the way God wants to handle them and you can be sure you will get to the place where God has destined for you. I'm going to pray for you now, but make up your mind to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. Because life without Christ is a shattered dream. And the Lord himself, the word of God says, because Christ is in you, the hope of glory, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Therefore, when Jesus is inside you, this is a victory that overcomes the world, even your faith and the fact that the Lord is inside you. Stretch your hand towards the television and believe God for a miracle. Whatever the enemy has done against you, that will be working against your dreams. As I'm praying now, that yoke will break. And your dream will manifest. Father, I give you praise for these ones who are listening to your word. And I thank you because the hour has come for their dreams to manifest. Joseph never died in the prison. The Jephthah never died in the strange land. They all came to be crowned. I therefore command and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost that as many as have risen to this telecast and their dreams were tampered with by the enemy, this very hour I break the yoke of that wicked enemy on the lives of my viewers in the name of Jesus. You that was in the prison, I command you, come out of the prison right now. You that was in the straight line, I call for you back home to be celebrated right now. You that was dis denied, despised, relegated to the background, I declare closed doors open to you that you come forward now and be celebrated in the name of Jesus. I declare favor for you. I pronounce that your dreams will never die. The, the, the enemy that tampered with your dress will not tamper with your dream. It must be fulfilled. I call it for. I declare and prophesy upon your life that you will not die without fulfilling your dreams in life. You will achieve and enjoy the desires of your life in the name of Jesus. Receive your breakthrough. Possess your possession. Enjoy God's destiny in your life. Thank you, Father, because I know you've answered. In Jesus' mighty name I've prayed. Amen and amen. So, you see, get identified with Edja Force, Liberation Power Ministries. We are out to keep the devil where he belongs to make sure what God has destined for you comes to light and comes to fulfillment. So, why can't you come this Sunday? Let us see how we can make it together. Till next week, I'm Jared Steven. GOC Edge of Us. Remain in your blessings. Everywhere I look, there's fear around. Many minds are fainting. If you want to give your life to Jesus and be saved, please say this prayer and be made. Almighty God, I have been a sinner. Please, Lord, forgive me as I now repent from all my sins. 
to accept and confess Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving me and accepting me as your own. In Jesus' name, Amen. Worship with us at Liberation Power Ministries, number 82, Ella Power Road, off Ada George Road, Mile 4 Portacot, or call 003-310-7866. Email us at edgefirst at yahoo.com. You will be here again next week for another moment of freedom. Jesus is Lord.